arc of the way that things go. One of the things I believe that's really important for us to keep in mind is that, and, and a lot of times we, we know it, we think about it, but we don't mention it, we should mention this. In Islam, nobody can be forced to come into Islam. And it's impossible because Islam means the willful submission to God on his terms. And you cannot willfully submit if somebody's forcing you. It's the opposite. That's correct. So, therefore, nobody can be forced to go into Islam. In fact, that's what Allah says in the Quran. La ikraha fid deen. This means that there is no compulsion forcing anybody to submit to Allah. Of course, if you understand that, it means, though, if you do choose to submit, then you have to totally become a Muslim. So it's not a, like a, a scapegoat narration in the Quran that says that, okay, Muslims don't have to practice Islam. Some might say, oh, like Rafadin, I don't have to wear hijab, you know, the covering, yes. and I don't have to pray five times a day. Why? Well, you can't force me because la ikra fadin. No, la ikra fadin is very clear, meaning that once you know who God is and what his conditions are, what your purpose of life is, once you understand that, then you have a responsibility to totally submit. And if you do that, it's complete. You can't say, well, you know, like Raha Fideen, I can take it and leave it and do what I like. So that's one statement I think has to be cleared up, that nobody can be forced into Islam. There's another point, too, though, I'd like to mention this. And that is, you know, a lot of people see you and I, we're out here talking with so many people. They come to Islam and they'll say, well, how many people did you guide to Islam? How many people did you guide? And what would you tell them? Well, I would tell them that I don't guide anyone that Allah guides to Islam. That's exactly true. That's exactly what anybody who does what we do knows that. But a lot of people think that we're out here guiding the people, that we're more or less uh, even coercing them or doing a salesmanship routine on them, getting them to come into Islam. And nothing could be further from the truth because if we did this kind of a routine on somebody and they came into Islam based on that, they wouldn't be in Islam anyway. Because as we said in, a few minutes ago, that the idea of going into Islam is you choose to submit to God on His terms. You're doing what He wants you to do. And if you did that, then you would be voluntarily submitting. And as such, in Arabic, Aslama. And that's where Islam comes from. So when people say, uh, well, how many people were guided by you or guided by what you did? I say, no. Allah guides the people. Mommy. That's right. Our job is what? To give the message. That's it. We're messengers. We're messengers. And we try our best to deliver it in the best way. And, and then what the people do with the message after they get it, it's up to them. So that's pretty much.